Security systems is probably the most pressing topic nowadays. We try to save our property that we have been accumulating for years with different means and methods. We look for intricate devices, which very often we can easily do with accessible means. Electronics helps us in this tiresome matter. We can say that it acts as our permanently hired guard or a watchman. So what can a security system do? First of all, it ensures safety of our property and belongings. It secures our lives and keeps unbidden guests away. It keeps us protected against all troubles that have to do with our sacred property. What measures can a security system undertake? It can inform us or our neighbors with the help of an alarm bell or a loud siren. It can dial your cell phone number or block all doors with the help of the system of electromagnetic locks. And of course it can send an alarm signal to your security agency. As you see, there are only advantages against everything unforeseen and undesirable. One of the variants of a unique security device is the set of transmitting equipment called an infrared barrier. It was developed in the modern laboratory by expert engineers. We introduce you the infrared barrier NK121. The set contains a transmitting unit and a receiver. They are put into small size waterproof frames. The devices are powered by just 9-12 volts. Their current consumption is very low, that is about 30-60 mA. Thus the device can also be powered from batteries. Both units are located at a maximum distance of 18 meters, just opposite each other. The devices are sensitive, so when a foreign physical body appears in the area of infrared rays, that is when, when the receiver does not see the ray anymore, then the alarm goes off. Contacts close on the switching relay of the executive unit. We may use a searchlight, a siren, a ring, or other alarm systems, as well as interlocking devices, as the load for the relay. This is a very reliable and high quality device. So here is the main part. Before using the device, you'll have to put some effort into assembling and soldering. But this is a pleasant job, especially when you do it yourself and for yourself. Everything is described in full details, up to the last dot. And today everybody can use a soldering iron. The main thing is to do soldering correctly. Make sure that the process is clean. Be careful and attentive. Wash off any extra rosin after work is complete, so that you can see the results. Connect loads and power correctly according to the diagram. Double check everything and then use the device. If you are persistent enough, then you'll be able to use the device right away without any problems. It must work. After all, you have done it all by yourself.